Hi everyone, Kieran here. We've been working closely with machine tool vendors around the world to create a more reliable and immersive experience to link what you do in Fusion 360 closer to your machine tool. The Mazak iConnect add-in allows you to export the NC program, part, fixture, stock geometry, and tool holder geometry in a special format from Fusion 360, which can then be imported into Mazak's smooth project manager software. By verifying what we see in the digital workspace on the real machine without actually having to cut apart, we can check for collisions, minimizing the risk of damage to the machine or part, identify any moves that exceed the machine limits, and check for tooling errors. This reduces the need for a skilled operator to spend so much time proving the machining programs before they can be used for production. To begin exporting the data, we will need to download the Mazak add-in from the Fusion 360 App Store. You can access the Fusion 360 App Store by going to the Utilities tab, hitting the drop-down on the Add-in section, and choose the Fusion 360 App Store. Type Mazak iConnect in the search bar. Download and follow the on-screen instructions to install the app. To verify the app has been installed correctly, you can open the scripts and add-ins page from the add-ins drop-down. Click on the add-ins section and you will see the Mazak iConnect app available. Select the app and check the run on startup checkbox if you always want the add-in to always be active when launching Fusion 360. Now click the run button. It's worth noting that the add-in is only visible when you're in the manufacturing environment. A pro tip here is that for easier access going forward, pin the icon to the toolbar. Let's now open our model we want to export over to the Smooth Project Manager control. In this example, I have a bracket with several 3 plus 2 milling operations, which include roughing, drilling, semi-finishing, and finishing operations. It's worth noting that within the setup, I've identified the model geometry and fixture geometries accordingly. And this definition is crucial to making the export process accurate. Now navigate to the Actions tab. Select the Mazak iConnect add-in. Start off by making sure you're in the Smooth Project Manager or SPM tab of the add-in. Next, we need to define an output folder location for the Fusion 360 data. A pro tip here is to define a location on a cloud-based platform like Microsoft OneDrive to ensure that the data is backed up automatically. The machine type is defined by the operation type you have within your setup. For milling, vary axis and machining center are available, whilst for turning, integrex horizontal, vertical and turning options are available. Next. Select the relevant post processor for your machine controller. If you don't have one, you can download a suitable Mazak post from cam.autodesk.com forward slash HSM posts. A link to the Autodesk's free library of post processors can be found in the description below. After specifying a suitable post processor, now to specify a suitable program number. At this point, you can specify which information gets exported from Fusion 360. This can involve the tooling, the model data, the fixture, or the stock model data. Machining cloud files can also be included in the project. To include a machining cloud file, check the machining cloud checkbox, then select the file by clicking the folder icon. For this tutorial, we won't be adding any machining cloud files. Clicking the export button creates the NC program in the text editor of your choice and bundles the checked model elements into the output folder. In Fusion 360, a progress bar will show the status of the export and an export complete dialog will pop up when the export has been completed. Next, we may want to establish a live connection to our Mazak machines. This connection uses the MT Connect protocols and can be used to check the current status of one, 
or multiple machines. To connect your machine, select the Machine Connection tab in the Mazak iConnect add-in. Click the plus button in the Machine section and enter the network address of the machine you require. Upon entering the network address, you will notice that the status has changed from invalid to connected. Checking the select checkbox for any connected machine will allow you to see the current status of that machine, which includes whether a machine is actively running, as well as which program is currently being run on that machine. This is particularly useful for CAM programmers to know what is currently being manufactured. Now that we have all we need, we can open the Mazak Smooth Project Manager. Firstly, select the external folder location of the exported data. You'll then notice the project info as well as the corresponding NC program are then displayed. To transfer this over to the controller, click on the checkbox to select the project and click the triple chevron icon to initiate the transfer. You'll be able to specify the folder location on the controller for the data to be copied to. Once a location has been specified, click the OK button. I hope this tutorial has been useful. If you like the video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. From me, cheers.